Arcade. Alright, cool. So, uh, anyways, uh, long story short, uh, here I am in Anarchy Arcade. If you're not here, then get it. It's for free over there on Steam. And, uh, and be a moonwalker with us. Hey, Moonbase. Yeah, you can, you can get your very own Moonbase in Anarchy Arcade. It's the truth. Well, what is today? Freaking Wednesday. Oh, man, it's hump day. Hump day. You know what that means? Humping. Uh, it means it's the middle day of the week, and if you were to put your, the weekdays into a pyramid, Wednesday would be the pinnacle. This is the pinnacle day, guys. The capstone day. I don't know what that means. Uh, we're deep in the shit. That's probably what it means. So I've got some interesting, weird news for you today, so we can kind of keep things light and uh, and awesome. I'm here on the moon base. Uh, let me show you around. I was just adding some things to the wall over there. <clears throat> yep, this is the uh, this is the I don't know I don't know even what to call this the laboratory or something. Let's get down here into the side. All right, Rad. All right, well, it's it's the morning show, and that's when I do this weird news thing, so i got to put on the weird news animations. Uh, it's time, you guys, it's the morning show. It's time for weird news. Weird news. Okay, we're done. Um, the first little bit of weird news that I came across was actually uh, kind of, kind of, weird to be honest uh this is something that uh i don't know why i put it over here and what in the world but this math trick blows people's minds on twitter i have to tell you guys about this because i dividing multiplying subtracting and all that that's for rich people okay i don't know anybody who knows how to divide multiply subtract uh, or any of that so uh god look at those hieroglyphic squiggles 
We don't need that stuff here on the moon. Figuring out percentages can be a nightmare, especially if you haven't got a calculator to hand. That's stupid. That should say at hand. But now a math whiz has bl- it's a math whiz. This must be British. Has blown people's minds on Twitter after sharing a simple way of working out complicated sums. This fascinating little hack involves flipping the numbers around to make things easier. For example, if you need to work out 18% of 50, swap them. Go for the easier portion uh, option of 50% of 18. Instead, the answer for both is 9. So you could either get 18. Basically, what they're saying is that if you transpose these numbers, it's still going to be the same. You know what I mean? The answer is going to come out to be the same. Another example is 4% of 25. Flip it around to work out 25% of 4. That's one, guys. The answer to both of those. So if you ever need to figure out a percentage of something, just flip the numbers if if it's easier for you to do so. And, uh, and it'll still be the same goddamn answer. So congratulations. You are now a math mathematician. All right. So this is the thing that I've really wanted to... Uh, to get into. All right. <clears throat> this is pretty funny. Okay. A wo- Arkansas woman steals a $144 of eye makeup and wears it all at the same time. So I, I saw this headline and, and then I was like, oh my God, I have to go check that out. Okay. Because clearly if a woman's going to wear $144 worth of eye makeup, in Arkansas. I mean, it it had to have been from Walmart. Okay, well, let's get a little deeper into this. No matter what state you live in, there's weirdos who do things that'll make you wonder if their parents were swimming in the same gene pool. That means that you you wonder if they're incest, okay? And if you're a product of incest. If you're lucky, they make the news and delight you with ridiculousness of the headline. You need proof? Mandatory com- combed through all sorts of Google searches and weird news sites and chose one ridiculous headline for every state. Let's just say I wouldn't want to use the laundromat in Vermont. Oh my god, okay, so in Alabama. Ew, is that Mama June? Hold on. Go over to the right side of the screen and look at Mama June's face over here. Like, put your thumb over her actual face. It could be Kelly Ripa. Indistinguishable. Wait, what is that ear down there? Man gets inside of ear removed in bizarre new body modification trend. Yeah, I'm just going to get the inner part of my ear removed. So you can like, you know, see through my ear and then so I can't really hear very well. The outer portion of the ear is just for uh, for looks at this point. All right, so. Oh, God. Russell Joseph Myers, 54, of Alabama, is the second person in the state charged with toughened bestiality laws. Myers was arrested after he allegedly butt-dialed a friend's voicemail and recorded him having... Here, let me cover up that word. Having a game of tag with the German Shepherd, with his friend's German Shepherd dog. The ex-carnival worker also owned a Chihuahua but police say he did not molest that dog. Myers may have to register as a... Nothing offender. If convicted, the dog is okay and being cared for by animal control. Hold on, don't you have a personal experience with someone who banged their dog? Oh my god, no, Sarah. That sounds... That sounds a lot worse than it... (laughs) Ah, okay, here. I'll, I'll tell you a little bit about it. Here, let's... Let's... We'll get back to that. Okay, so here, here's my thing, all right? Um, all right, I'll just hang out right here. Let me try to explain this so I don't get the my channel deleted. One time my friend Bobby called me, and he said, Hey, Donnie. Come on over to my apartment. And there's some crazy stuff going on. And so I said, okay, cool. Yeah, here, let me go right over there, Bobby. So I drove over to Bobby's apartment. And outside of Bobby's apartment were glass, broken things, pornographic magazines and video cassette tapes, and the smell, the lingering smell of vodka. 
All right, so that was everywhere, just sticking to everything. So I get inside, and I'm like, man, what happened? It's not like, was there a fire? What happened? Was this, uh, there an explosion? Bobby says, here, let me grab a... Let me grab a cigarette, and we'll talk about it outside on the porch. Or, you know, in the front yard. So we go outside, and Bobby's over here um, on the side of the building, on the front side of the building. And then I'm, of course, over there with him, and I'm like, what is all this stuff? Where did it come from? He said... The superintendent of the building just went to jail because his roommates came home and he had just been fired previously that day by the way so he was the old superintendent at that point he still had take he has still had all the keys and everything so they come home to him in a very compromising position with the dog I know, I know, it's a very, I mean, you have to use your imagination, because I'm not really telling you what's going on, but, so, so, they were appalled, freaked out, beleaguered, and bewildered, and decided that they should just call the cops. He starts freaking the F out, and he's drunk, by the way, and he starts screaming things like, she liked it, stuff like that, um, he takes all of his his drawers full of pornographic magazines because apparently he has a problem with it. Maybe, well, whenever you do that, it becomes a problem. So he um, has a whole bunch of it and, and just starts throwing it out the window, but somehow breaks the window in the process. So he's now throwing just drawer after drawer of and bottles of vodka. So he's getting rid of the evidence, right? You would think that that would be the smart thing to do, except for he's throwing it into the parking lot where uh, the police would have to, you know, pull up and uh, and see. So, basically what he has done is sealed his fate. And so the police get there and he hides him, he barricades and hides himself inside a uh, bathroom upstairs. Uh, in one, oh, hey, there's a dog in the, uh, in the moon base. Look at that. Um, so, barricades himself inside... Uh, one of the bathrooms they need to they have to get a oh hey uh, they have to get a police dog to come get him um, you know because he s- sniffs him out do you understand the irony that a dog put him in jail and a dog took him to jail that's so weird man so I w- I'll never forget that story another story uh, re- related to that uh, I I know the people who currently live inside of that apartment. And whenever I told them the story of what happened in their apartment, they were also shocked, beleaguered, appalled, and frustrated, and all those other words. So, I don't know. I I'm, I feel bad for them. Sort of. The, the, the DR apartment. Ugh. All right. So I still want to see the story about this lady who stole all this makeup and put it all on at the same time. Hey, the weird news thing's up. Okay, yeah, I mean, it is technically weird news. Okay, Alaska man with eyeball tattoo pleads guilty to attempted murder, says his beautiful face led to the crime. What? I don't even know what that is supposed to mean. These aren't even good tattoos. Arizona man arrested after shooting at the moon high on marijuana. Okay. Apparently these are just screenshots of the titles, so we can't really see the head or the stories, but we just see the headlines. Where's it all at the same time? I believe that. She looks like one of those blow pops. That's what they call her on the streets. Blow pop. What up, blow pop? Woman gives birth, fights off bees, starts wildfire in North Carolina. Aspen man hires stuffed owl as his defense attorney. Wow. Charles Abbott uses fuzzy horned owl to represent him during court appearance. Can you do that? Can your proxy be a fuzzy horned owl? Alright, we're going down into the, the chat rooms here. Yeah, we're live. That's what it said. Do 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 
do do do do do. All right, wait, hold on. What? Man arrested for alleged aggressive mopping. Hold on a minute. When John Thornton visited the, the Doubletree Hotel in Bristol, Connecticut on Monday night, he apparently did not like the mop being mop job, mop job being done by a female. What in the world? It won't let me click read the whole story. It's just a, a screen grab, I guess. Cops, man. Oh, wow. Nope. Uh-uh. Can't read that one. Orlando Gun Range allows customers to shoot at each other. Combat City allows realistic shooting experience. Whoa. Combat City. We're looking this place up. Hold on one moment. I gotta find this. Combat City. Can you can you imagine going to Combat City? Oh, it's Airsoft. Guys, it's a friggin' Airsoft place. <sighs> Alright, hold on. I'll show you. Because you, you need to know that it's an Airsoft place. Here, Combat City. Combat City Airsoft Arena, Winter Park. Okay, so... Man, I was thinking that this was like some kind of a... Aggressive mopping means mopping her feckin' face. Yeah, mopping her face with... With your balls! Alright, Combat City USA took an empty Winter Park Sublick supermarket and transformed it into Florida's largest air-conditioned indoor airsoft arena. The venue opens up to 40,000 plus square feet, perfect for non-stop battles and family fun for open to close. No need to worry about the weather because Combat City USA is open for business. Rain or shine. If you're a professional airsoft player, bring your own guns and gear to play all day for only $15. For those new to the game, Combat City will provide the guns and gear and allow you to play for up to two hour, four hours at the price of $30. So if you have your own shit, you can play all day for 15 bucks, but if you want theirs, you just basically run it out for a few hours. I've never really played Airsoft. Look at this. Look at these dudes. It's pretty cool, I guess. You can't really dog on it. At least it's not, you know, paintball. Paintball hurts. You know what I'm saying? Invasive acid spraying ants in Hawaii are deforming native seabird chicks. The ground dwelling chicks are pestered by invasive ants. Spraying acid. Deforming native birds. That's weird. So, okay. There's a an invasive acid spraying ant. Alright. And it is deforming native seabird chicks. Do you understand what that means? That means that the ants are probably helping evolutionarily in some way for these chicks. Because if the chicks can survive that, they become different in some way. Do you know? Do you even know? Robber wears underwear on their head during Idaho burglary. That's just because the smell, though. Police in southwest Idaho say a man... Oh, my God, here. A man chose briefs over boxers to wear on his head as he held up a coffee shop and stole a safe. Coffee shop owner J J Jason Wilson tells the Idaho statesman he believes the man was likely not prepared when he entered Big Star Coffee. I'm just going to put my fucking underpants over my head. Woman missing since she got lost. Man wakes up to find dog chewed his toes off. Oh my god. Um, okay, man wakes up to find dog chews. What? Okay, how would you feel if you... Yeah, how do you miss that? That's what I'm saying. Like... You, you, in the, man, okay, I wake up because my dog breathes heavy in the night, okay? All of a sudden, this dude's getting his toes chewed off. God. What do you guys think about it? Would you be able to have your toes chewed off? 
Maybe he was some kind of neuropathy or something, and like he couldn't feel it. Oh crap, you know what? That could totally be the case. Oh my god, I wonder what kind of dog it was too, because that freaks me out. The picture of this shows like some kind of a boxer. Or a... I won't even say it. Probably a pit bull. It was probably a pit bull. Are you in the mood for a new car stereo? Then come on out to where the pit bulls eat your toes. She eats babies. It was probably our pit bull. She eats babies. I need to make some kind of a thing where I put Sandy in front of the green screen and I can let her like walk. Oh, that's a good idea. I'll green screen her and let her walk across the screen uh, or something. She will be chewing on a baby. Licks them until they're gone like a Tootsie Roll pop. How many licks would it take to get to the bottom of your toes? Girl, <laughs> how many licks would it take, girl, to get to the bottom of them toes? How many licks would it take to get to the bottom of the toes in Carfi? How many licks would it take, girl? Oh, that's even better. Oh, hey, girl, how many licks would that take? My dog chewed my toes off. Hey, I'm going to put 90, 94% of my foot in your ass, asshole. Wait, what do you mean 94%? You know, my dog chewed my toes off, but I'm still kicking your dick in. All right, man, I wasn't talking to any of you. I was just scenario. Man pulls knife on brother for eating too many PB&J sandwiches. Dude, I would too, though, man. Like, if we only had a couple of... If there was only a certain amount of food and then somebody was just, like, eating it all and, like, it's like, dude, we gotta eat those PB&Js all week. I'm gonna kick in your balls. Police say Iowa man was arrested after he pulled a knife on his brother during a fight over peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. That kind of looks like Jimmy. You guys don't know Jimmy, but this this kind of does really kind of look like Jimmy a little bit. Adriana Phelps finds God's name in vain on her leg. Wait, hold on. The Lord's name in vain? Dude, that's hilarious. Okay, what does this say? Taking God's name in vain is not is bad, but having his name written in a vein is apparently good for a woman in Wichita, Kansas. She's from Wichita. I could probably go to Wichita and, uh, and take a picture of this woman's vein. No, uh, I do have very close veins. All right. Hey, that's hot. Hey, that's not far. That's what you said. Okay. Westboro Baptist Church is from there. Wait, is Westboro from Wichita? Is that where they're from? Because I don't know anything really about Westboro. I do know that across the street they have that rainbow house. You've been to, to Westboro. Did you used to go to Westboro when you were a kid? Is that where your, your uh, parents took you? To church? You just go to Westboro? Close enough? You know what's funny about Westboro Baptist Church is that there are a bunch of lawyers like, all of them are, are pretty much, well, not all of them, but, like, a lot of them are lawyers, so they know about suing you. Wait, a local child wins gun from fundraiser. Stetson Graves, a 19-month-old son of Charlie and Ken Graves, Tompkinsville, was the winner of the 17-caliber Marlin rifle that was given away on December 13th by the Tri-County Moose Service Center. The sponsors said that they would like to... That's pretty... Okay. If you... I mean, clearly, the, the kid didn't randomly get a free gun, you know, and they're not going to give the gun to a kid. The, not a 19-month-old. I've had a BB gun before. I've shot a gun once, and that's pretty much it. Uh, definitely not when I was 19 months old. That sounds like some uh, hill people stuff. They're, uh, I'm surprised they're not from Missouri. Tompkinsville, Missouri. That's probably what it was. Drunk dad sleeps while boy eight drives. Okay, whenever I was a, a kid, I was a, probably around eight years old. I didn't drive. I didn't drive, right? But I did have a friend named Deborah. And Deborah would drive her dad home from the bar in other towns and just drive him all the way back whenever she was like a super small kid. She's like, heck yeah, I drive all the time. I drive my dad. I'm like, you you mean your dad like lets you sit on his lap and drive? She's like, no, he gets drunk and I just drive him home. 
things were a lot different back in the old in the past in the olden days. You could apparently just get drunk. All right. Well, hey, um, I'm going to take a, a short break, and I'm going to be right back with more weird news. Uh, this segment is one of my favorites all week, every single day of the morning. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um, here, I'm going to push pause on that, and we are going to uh, going to be right back. and all I'm back and there's the music while I'm back uh, right here in in the morning show uh, within Anarchy Arcade I am on the moon base high above the earth if you look outside right now you might be able to see the moon Uh, if you haven't seen the moon before it is that giant orb in the sky in the nighttime not all the little tiny ones it's the big one and uh, it's the weird news portion of the day we're going to do this weird news stuff Uh, we've got even more this part this is a a segment of the show that I call uh, it's the want in the world section Uh, this this is something that I found okay this is a website this place is in like Sweden and you can taste 80 of the world's most disgusting foods exhibited delicacies include surströming fermented herring from Sweden uh, koi roasted guinea pig from Peru that doesn't sound too bad I've always wanted to try something like that or like a nutria rat like you can eat nutria rats too um Kazu Marzu, that's the maggot infested cheese from Sardinia. That's illegal in the United States. You can't get that. Because you're basically eating the maggot shit. Like the cheese turns into dookie. Stinky tofu is a pungent bean curd from China. I think that I've had stinky tofu before. I definitely bought like a little package of something that said stinky tofu on it. And those are really good. I liked that. Like, 
I also get like fermented bean curd. Those are, I think those are two slightly different things. Uh, Hakarl, a well-aged shark from Iceland. I used to get Sir Strumming and Hakarl mixed up. Because from what I understand, they, I mean, they pretty much smell and taste the same. Or something similar. Or at least that's how the reaction videos always show it. People completely just puking everywhere. Disgusting. Durian. That's another thing. I want to... I want to try durian myself. It's a stinky fruit. Food is so much more than sustenance. Curious foods from exotic cultures have always fascinated us. Unfamiliar foods can be delicious or they can be more of acquired taste. While cultural differences can separate us and create boundaries, food can also connect us. Sharing a meal is the best way to turn strangers into friends. The evolutionary function of disgust is to help us avoid disease and unsafe food. Disgust is one of the six fundamental human emotions. While the emotion is universal, the foods that we find disgusting are not. What is delicious to one person can be revolting to another. Disgusting Food Museum invites visitors to explore the world of food and challenge their notions of what is and what isn't edible. Could changing our ideas of disgust help us embrace the environmentally sustainable foods of the future? The exhibit has 80 of the world's most disgusting foods. Adventurous visitors will appreciate the opportunity to smell and to taste. I wasn't watching and thought you said hot Carl. I wasn't talking about a hot Carl, but... I mean, Stanley Steamer gets your house cleaner or something like that. Um... Do you dare smell the world's stinkiest cheese or taste sweets made from sweets made with metal cleansing chemicals? Wait, what? Taste sweets made with metal cleansing chemicals? What the fuck? I'm not gonna eat sweets. Oh, that's a cute pig. It's completely. It's just that is a heroin addict pig. Oh, what is that? Is that some kind of like a poop bean? I feel like I, I just want to watch. Oh, that's a bat. That's a lettuce. That's a bat salad. Fruit bat soup. Oh my god, those are spicy rabbit heads. Oh, this is pretty nasty. That's koi. That's the boiled guinea pig. Or the roasted guinea pig. Sally Salmiaki. I don't know what that is. It's like some kind of a licorice. Oh, maybe... Maybe that's that... I'm going to look this up. I need to know about uh, candy made with metal cleaning chemicals. I don't get it. Huh. I don't know. It does... Man, now I'm just intrigued. What? What is... Is that it? Salmiaki. Maybe that's it. Because it looked like regular candy. Salmiaki. S-L-M-I-A-K-I candy. Okay, here we go. What is this? Salty licorice. Oh, that's not it. So, they have a, a candy called Salty Licorice. That sounds pretty good. I like salt. I'm a salt eater. You need it for... It's a it's a basic mineral. Well, it is the time of the day where I'm saying that we do have that follower goal of 200 followers. So if you want to help us reach that follower goal, then please, for the love of God, follow. If you've already followed, then thank you. I appreciate you. I think that you're pretty de- decent. Uh, join the Moonwalkers by downloading Anarchy Arcade and the Moon Map. I've got those in the Discord, so you can find those here. I'll, I, I mean, the Discord link's below the video, so click on the big letter N, the logo, over there in the corner that you see. Um, right over there. Uh, click, th- not that, but like below me. And you'll go to the Discord, and and you'll be able to see all of the the stuff and enjoy it and and download Anarchy Arcade download the moon map you don't even have to download it you just subscribe to it on Steam and then you'll be able to come here uh, in a public map that I've created well I didn't create the map but I'm I'm creating the innards I am populating it with apparently disgusting foods 
Oh. That, I thought that guinea pig was a bat this whole time that, you know. And that's salty licorice. That's like all, all that powder on the outside of those is salt. I want that. I want that so bad right now. Alright, let's see what else this place has. Tease nuts. It, they're in Malmo, Sweden. I don't want to have to go to Malmo, Sweden. Okay, it costs 185, what is that, kroners? Here, let's see what 185 kroners or whatever. To USD. They're Swedish kroners. It's 20 bucks, guys. It's 20 do- Hey, that's pretty good. Can you try this stuff? Or for 20 bucks, I would I would go to a place where I can try all that. I've always wanted to try like real disgusting stuff. Somebody says, uh, media mentions. The idea that anything labeled food can be described as disgusting is a minefield, running up against cultural tastes and personal preferences, not to mention the shrinking ability of some countries to feed all their people. But clearly, if every human had a cornucopia of the world's edibles laid out on a table stretching from one end of the earth to the next, not everyone would dig enthusiastically into, say, a lamprey pie or a a sliver of maggot-infested pecorino or a chunk of rotten shark meat. I can't disagree with the New York Times on that one. Ugh. So, Master of Design, the most disgusting food eaten was a Polish sauerkraut drink. Cabbage in a bottle. That's the most disgusting thing that that girl had drank. These all look... These are real people, yeah. Okay, the Andreas Ahrens. Andreas Ahrens. Museum director. Most disgusting food eaten was Hakaro from Iceland. Uh, most disgusting food eaten by Samuel West is the curator and, sh- and chief disgustologist. So he's the one who, who makes everybody... Uh, he's the food guy. He's the, the chef. Uh, duck fetus cooked in its egg from the Philippines. Oh, that's Balut. I had one of those in the, in the kitchen, but I didn't eat it. It just sat in the fridge till it probably went bad. Um... Brain omelet in Mexico City. That's so nasty. Oof, I can't do the brain. Like eating brain. Well, I think Salty Fox has eaten brain before. Or something. I've eaten horse before. I guess that I'm one of those uh, Lord of the Thrones people. Okay, come on. Give me that. Oh yeah, I already clicked on that. Well, that was what in the world. Uh, so today on uh, this is a com- what in the world. Oh, there we go. That's odd. Uh, um, today on this segment, the cryptid segment, um, which which is called uh, what do we got here? It's got to be up here. Oh, there we go. This is a segment called Mysterious. Unexplainable. It's mysteriously unexplainable, guys. Uh, where there are, you know, scary creatures haunting the back roads. The thing we're going to talk about today is the Lizard Man of Scape or Swamp. I just went to the Wikipedia for this one. Uh, in the folklore of Lee County, South Carolina, the Lizard Man of Scape or Squamp. That's even hard to say. I'm going to call it the Lizard Man of Lee County. It's an entity said to inhabit the swampland of the region, first mentioned in the late 1980s by a local 17-year-old. So, this kid's 17, and he decides that he sees this... What is that? Scape or Swamp Guy? He yielded a significant amount of newspaper, radio, and television publicity. According to Lee County authorities, another local man admitted fabricating a story about encountering and shooting the creature because he wanted to keep the legend of the Lizard Man alive. In 1988, 17-year-old local Christopher Davis claimed his car was damaged by a creature he described as green, wet-like, about seven feet tall and three fingers, red eyes, skin like a lizard, and snake-like scales. 
Or maybe he just didn't want to get in trouble for wrecking his new car. And he was probably drunk. After fixing it, he saw the creature walking towards him. Oh, okay, no, he got a flat tire. That was what happened. He saw the creature walking toward him. Davis got in his car and began to drive, but the creature would soon on top of the car. He applied his brakes, causing the creature to roll off the car, giving Davis enough time to escape. Local businesses began selling Lizard Man t-shirts, and the local chapter of Com Chamber of Commerce encouraged the media attention as good for the community. The increase in newspaper and media publicity prompted further reports of sightings, and the area soon became a tourist attraction for visitors and hunters. Local radio station WCOS offered a $1 million reward to anybody who could capture the creature alive. On August 5th, Kenneth Orr, an airman stationed in Shaw Air Force Base, filed a police report alleging he had encountered the lizard man on Highway 15 and he shot and wounded it. He presented several scales and a small quantity of blood as evidence. Orr recanted his, this account two days later when, when he was arraigned for unlawfully carrying a pistol and the misdemeanor offense of filing a false police report. According to Orr, he had hoaxed the sighting in order to keep stories about the lizard man in circulation. Reports of the creature gradually declined at the end of the summer. Local law enforcement officials speculated that the sightings were likely caused by a bear. How is that a bear? You see a lizard man with scales and like... Bears are furry. They're covered in fur. So that, that's the lizard man. I guess that that is the, uh, the image there of the lizard man. We got over here. This is in the top secret section. We got a story. Oh, this is the... Uh, I saw this yesterday, okay? I want to get more... Look, okay, right here. Clearly he's right. Damn it. There. This guy's a terrible cameraman. That's him. Right there. That is the uh, skunk ape. It's not a skunk ape. It's a... Okay, so it was right there. So I'm going to try to see if maybe he's in the same spot. Because I can never see him in the second one. On that mountain, way the hell up there, you can see them right there. Right there. Where? He's sitting on a rocky stool. He's sitting where? The dude says he's like above the second peak of the house, but I don't see a single thing. I mean, we are really far away right now. You can see the top of that mountain. It's. I don't. I don't see it. Black thing right over that second peak of that house. Oh, is that it? Wait, is this it right here? I think that's it. Maybe. Ah. I'm going to keep playing this video until somebody can tell me whether that's a... Oh, man. You guys see what just happened? That was amazing. I'm not sure what just happened. That's amazing. Something just happened. And I got teleported in my map. Weird. Mysteriously unexplainable. It's a little glitchy, but it's home. You know what I mean? All right. Well, I'm going to take a short break before I come back with the final thought, which is something that a segment of the show I just invented. Uh, um, this is this is the television network, and you're watching it.
All right. I'm back. Well. I will be back. All right, here I am. I'm back now. Um, I am again. All right, so... This is Donnie's final thought, all right, for the day. You know, there's a lot of different ways to be in the world. Um, I think that with the, the crime that we were able to read about earlier in the news headlines, um, there are every type of person in, in that world. I'm glad I'm up here on the moon with you guys. Also, I have a final thought about the girl who stole all the makeup. Beauty is in your heart. And if it's not, then people can tell, Mimi. Um, another thing that I wanted to say. Join me tomorrow for the morning show. One more time. Um, 8 a.m. Central Time. 9 a.m. Eastern Time. If you're in another country, then, you know. Wolf, and it seems you're using only one hand to move and look. Are you one-handed mouse or a controller? Um, I've got a controller. And then uh, I've got... Uh, another hand that I used to click with. It's kind of a, a hybrid thing. So it's like one half there and one half on the other thing. Uh, it's all available in Anarchy Arcade. Here, let me go over here and, and uh, show you that. Uh, Anarchy Arcade, it's available on Steam. You can come visit the moon base. And it's, um, you know, it. it's actually very user-friendly. Um, a slight learning curve that is barely noticeable. It's just like learning a new video game. And actually, it's easier in a lot of ways. But it's very useful. It's a, it's a virtual desktop that you can use instead of a 2D desktop. Oh, yeah. Dude, that is awesome. Okay, so um, there is a, a map for this. Um, for the moon base. So you can come into the moon base. And I can... You know what? I think I might put my host link in the uh, in the discord if you're not a part of the discord you can you can uh, definitely you know join us on discord um, you know the link is below so go ahead and join us there uh, the link is below uh, in that big television network logo that you see on my channel Okay, well, that has, it's been a good episode. It's been a good morning. I'll check you guys out. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Or actually, you know what? I'm going to be um, streaming later. Gee gee. GG. I don't know what that's supposed to mean, but I like it. Oh, good game. Oh, my God. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to see you uh, guys down in the Discord. I'm going to stop streaming for now. i got some things to work on, and I did come up with some newer ideas for the show today uh, while I was doing that. So I will be doing a final thought at the end of it, kind of like Jerry Springer. Uh, pretty, pretty happy about that. So I will see you later on. Uh, later, dude. And here, uh, are you streaming, Sith? If you're streaming right now, um, you know, I'll host share or whatever. Raid. Raider. I will raid you. I want to raid you like an animal. I want to raid you from the inside. I don't know what that was, but it was weird. Okay, well, have a wonderful day. I'm glad that you guys exist. This has been the morning show on the television network. Peace.